Good morning. Welcome to Caddix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Caddix TV. British Airways Boeing 777-200 sitting at the tarmac at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas had just begun its takeoff roll when the left engine exploded. It apparently uh, turned out to be an uncontained engine explosion. Uh, parts of the engine uh, severed some of the fuselage fuel lines as well as some hydraulic lines causing a fire. All 157 passengers and 13 crew people were evacuated safely. About 14 people are in the hospital. Uh, the plane uh, was reached by uh, fire personnel within two minutes of the alarm going in. The Federal Aviation Authority had to uh, shut down the Las Vegas airport for about two hours. Las Vegas is the ninth busiest airport in the United States. British Air said that the aircraft experienced a technical issue as it prepared to take off. The airline said that our crew evacuated the aircraft safely and the fire was quickly extinguished. Meanwhile, American International Group is reported to be the lead insurer on the British Airways plane. It could take a hull loss of about $35 million. The all-risk program was uh, brokered by Marsh and was widely syndicated throughout the marketplace. Uh, initial concerns were that the uh, insurers would be forced to absorb a larger loss with some of the British Air 777s uh, insured for as much as $85 million, but this one was only insured for $35 million. Typical lead lines on airline business are in the region of uh, 10%, so this would put AIG in at about $3.5 million. The airline all-risk market already looks to be on course to make an underwriting loss in 2015. Perhaps this means that premium increases instead of decreases will actually be seen next year. AIG declined to comment. Insurance insiders reporting what many in London already have suspected, the Italian insurer Generali is in the final stages of uh, exploring the setting up of a Lloyd syndicate. Sources have also said that AXA is also examining the feasibility of joining the Lloyd's market. Um, it's understood that over the last two months, though, Generali has talked to the three third-party managing agencies looking to bring new business into the market before it did select Randall and Quilter as a turnkey operation. Details on the rationale for Generali's interest are scarce right now, but sources believe that the top 10 insurer is looking to establish a Lloyd's platform as a means of expanding its big-ticket insurance business. If things go well and Generali satisfies the uh, requirements of the franchise board, it's possible that a July uh, 2016 start date is feasible. In the United States, United Airlines abruptly replaced its CEO as a federal investigation continues as to whether the airline gave preferential treatment to a former chairman of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, which is the entity that runs, among other things, uh, the airports in the New York area, including Newark Liberty International, which is United's main hub. Federal prosecutors are probing United's ties to David Sampson, who is the former chairman of the Port Authority as well as the former uh, Attorney General of the state of New Jersey. United said that Jeffrey Smizak, who was the former CEO and two other senior executives, had stepped down. They said that the uh, stepping down was the result of the federal probe and its own investigation into the matter. United began a direct flight between Newark, New Jersey and Columbia, South Carolina where Mr. Sampson had a summer home when he was the chairman of the Port Authority and United ended that flight days after Mr. Sampson resigned as chairman of the Port Authority. The flight was known internally at United as the chairman's flight. New York-based reinsurance broker Holborn has appointed Aon Benfield executive Roderick Thaler as an executive VP. Thaler is going to be based in New York. He's going to act as a member of Holborn's franchise operating committee responsible for the oversight of strategic initiatives. Holborn is a well-known figure in the reinsurance intermediary world, and this is a big catch for Holborn. Yesterday, there were reports that came out after we broadcast about an explosion that shook a chemical plant in the Chinese province of Zhejiang. Uh, another week, another chemical plant explosion in China. No immediate reports of any casualties, but the, black, the blast caused a fire and thick smoke to billow from the plant in Lushui City shortly after midnight Monday night. Firefighters were on the scene. There were no reports of any damages or injuries. Uh, excuse me, there were significant reports of damages, but no reports of casualties. Chinese chemical plant blasts are relatively common 
Five people died in an explosion last week in Shandong province. And of course, the big explosion in mid-August at Tianjin killed more than 160 people. Meanwhile, overnight, the Nikkei stock market in Tokyo went up, get this, 7.7%. The European averages also all jumped, and the stock market in New York and early trading is up about 80 points. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.